All right, should, should we do this first react? I've been putting this off because I feel like we're gonna have a lot of people agree and then a lot of people disagree and it's gonna get me in trouble and it's gonna be very heated. But like, I feel like I can't not talk about this. The reins of the heavenly cloud serpent, originally dropping from Shaw of Anger, will cost 38,500 bronze in the upcoming remix event. All right, we all saw it. Let's talk about it. Koala, thanks for the prime. Alex, thanks for the prime. <laughs> we'll go over some takes. First, I'll give you my take. Then we'll go over other people's takes. And then we'll go over your guys' takes. No idea what this means. Okay, so if you guys aren't familiar, Reigns of the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. One of the most prestigious rare mounts in World of Warcraft. It's a 1 in 2,000 drop rate, or at least was a 1 in 2,000 drop rate. And um, it was from a boss called uh, Shaw of Anger in Mist of Pandaria. It was a world boss, one of four world bosses. Nalak, Undasta, Galleon, and Shaw of Anger, okay? And this one, to me at least, was like the most prestigious because it looks the coolest. The other three were just as rare, I believe, 1 in 2,000. And uh, people have been farming this mount since... Two 2012 so it's been 12 years now and uh if you have it it's kind of cool if you don't you're probably still farming it because yeah it's a, if you're in, in the mount farming community it's pretty dope all right uh full disclosure i personally do have this mount i got it after about a thousand attempts and it was pretty soul sucking but uh once i got that mount it was pretty it was a pretty awesome feeling and uh i didn't buy it from the uh, black market auction house i actually got it as a drop okay and, and that drop, I think, is on my YouTube and Twitter. I got it like a year or two ago. Okay. Um, what is my take on on them allowing Shaw of Anger to be purchased with bronze? I think it is, quite frankly, a little disrespectful to the player base. I think it's bait and switch to have something that you earn one way, have players earn it in one way, and then switch it to earning it another way. In my opinion, if you want to add in new mounts with a currency, that's awesome. If you're like, you know what? This old percentage drop based stuff is antiquated. This is a thing of the past. No one likes farming mounts, which I don't think is true, but let's just say that's the argument you want to make. Like no one wants to farm mounts. It's boring. It's not engaging. It's resident sleeper. Then fine. In the future, don't introduce drop percent mounts anymore. And you could do currency mounts or ahead of the curve mounts or other style of mounts to earn. And if you don't want rare drop mounts, then don't add them anymore. But this one was a rare drop mount. So changing how you receive it to me is a clear bait and switch and disrespectful to the player base who's already farmed it or is in the process of farming it or ever tried to farm it. It's a clear slap in the face, right? Now, um, I think it'll be a short-term dopamine hit for the people that buy it. Wow, I have this mount I spent thousands of hours trying to farm. And then everyone will have it. And then it won't be cool anymore. And then it's another mount that's not cool anymore. Same thing happened with Twitch drops with some of these TCG mounts. Same thing happened with some of these rare mounts they brought back. It, it becomes a rare mount that was once cool to a common mount that nobody cares about anymore for a short-term dopamine hit. So you're basically trading a little bit of dopamine for the cost of that cool mount. So yeah, I, I think this is uh, not a good move forward from Blizzard. I think it's another short-term trade for long-term satisfaction. And I think as long as Blizzard keeps making short-term trades for their game, in the, the long-term will suffer. The short-term will be okay. People will be excited to get a cool mount they've always wanted. It'll be nice for the short term, but you look back six months or a year from now and now the mount's not cool or prestigious anymore and it's like, okay, well, that wasn't worth it. Not at all. So, uh, so yeah, I think it's a massive L. So basically, let's get into some comments uh, on the tweet and then we'll, I'll discuss them and then I'll talk to chat about what you guys think about this. So yeah, what I said is uh, this is a clear example of trading a short-term dopamine hit. Uh, for the game's long-term satisfaction and stability. Don't think this is the right move. And that's pretty much exactly what I think. Um, and we already covered it, I think. So let's move on. Um, Max says, farming 38k bronze takes forever. 
I don't think farming 38k bronze is comparable to a 1 in 2,000 drop chance, which, by the way, they actually did increase the drop rate on it, I think, at some point about two years ago. Um, you still felt that feeling when the mountain drop for you. Other people not having it still have to work for this. Yeah, but they work for it in a different way. So it's a bait and switch, right? These takes are tiring. Why? The majority of people, even if those who have these prestigious things don't give an F, I think a lot of them do, which is why there's uh, a lot of hate on this thread. So yeah, I guess I have to disagree with almost everything that Max has to say. And I would like to chat with him about why, but this is pretty much what I said in reply. Uh, if Blizzard wants to introduce new ways to farm new mounts, that's awesome. And even if they want to nod to old mounts using similar skins and recolors, that might be a solid middle ground for us all to agree. Once again, if you want to do a recolor or kind of a similar thing, cool. But if you introduce new ways to farm old mounts, that's already an established farming method with percent based drops, it's bait and switch and disrespectful to the player base. And I, I think that's a, pretty much exactly what I have to say about that. Word for word. Yes. Okay, yes, that's exactly what I have to say about that. So I think that kind of covers that take. So we can move on from that. Asmongold has a take that I want to discuss more in depth. Everyone's mad. Everyone mad would have a point if you couldn't buy this from the BMH. Um, so that's a good point. It's a really good point. With real money via tokens. That's a very good point, and we'll want to cover that. Or if Blizzard hadn't changed the drop rate in 2022 because they effed up and made it a guaranteed drop. This is another good point. So Asmongold actually has some good points. This game has no integrity. It's over. So he's being a bit facetious at the end, and maybe there's some truth to that. Um, but I, I want to discuss this. So the first thing I want to discuss is the... Uh, the I guess we don't... Is the BMAH with real money. I think this is fair. Yeah. It probably... It, I, I, think, I think the fact that you can buy tokens with real money is not a good idea. So yes, I concede. Asmongold's right. BMAH with real money is stupid. I've never liked that, and I still don't like it. Tokens are trash for an online video game. Yeah, buying gold with real money sucks for a game. It loses integrity. We, I, If you want that, I, I agree. That also sucks. So sure, I concede. Blizzard hadn't changed the drop rate in 2022 because they effed up and made it guaranteed. Once again, another good point. They messed up. There was a bug, so if, uh, in 2022 when, when the, the expansion came out with Drakthirs, there was a bug where if you ran Shaw of Anger on a Drakthir, it would almost guarantee drop or maybe 100% drop, and it was a bug for like 24 hours. In those 24 hours, a lot of mounts dropped, and people got them. Maybe, I don't know how many, thousands probably, maybe more. Um, and they fixed it like an, a day or two later, and uh, a lot of people got them out for free. So once again, the integrity was already pierced because real money via tokens, and the integrity was also pierced because they made it a guaranteed drop for Drakthir. So two reasons, Asmongold has two really good points. And I can't really say, uh, I can't really contest them other than this. Just because something has already had its integrity messed up doesn't mean it should be messed up any further. Just because they've messed up once doesn't mean they should mess up again. So I disagree with the game uh, is already over. Maybe I'm an optimist. Maybe I'm maybe I'm too much of an optimist, but I would like to think that you can still turn the, the boat around, man. You can start making good decisions. It's not completely over. You can you can start with one good decision and then make another good decision and then make another good decision. But making bad decisions because other bad decisions were being made is not a reason to make more bad decisions. So that's my take on Asmongold's point. He has a lot of, like, two great points, but just because Blizzard messed up once, or twice in this case, doesn't mean they have to mess up again. The game has less integrity than it should, but we can start turning the ship around by making good decisions. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that covers that. Um, let's read some more takes on the tweet, and then let's talk to chat. Uh, Aya says, are you kidding me? So clearly people are upset, um, or some people are upset. Uh, Warcraft Hermit says, stop. I mean, yeah, so clearly people are upset. 
Frankly, this is gross and Blizzard should never re-release it. So once again, yep, I agree. Uh, April Fools is two weeks ago. Clearly people are upset. Salute bag is laughing. Um, yeah, please do not do this. Okay, so yeah, people are upset because of, uh, I think of what I've said, it's clear bait and switch. And uh, if, you, if you continue to bait the player base with one thing and switch it, it's gonna make people feel disrespected over time, disrespected for their time over time, and then they're gonna end up quitting the game. Okay, so after all that, what's up chat? What do you guys think? <laughs> that was a long winded thing. What's bronze? It's a currency in the mop remix. Is there anyone in the chat who disagrees? I know there's people in the chat that disagree. I disagree. Okay, well, why? I guess, yeah. I disagree because it's a limited time event, so people won't be getting it later. So if something was a limited time event for like a spectral tiger and or a limited time twitch drop um, or a limited time heavenly onyx that you could get in like a week, it's fine. I think I, I, I completely disagree with the sentiment that the limited time event helps in like in much of any way. All right, anything, anything else? Disagree, disagree because I won't play this. Like, so you're just not, you just don't play retail. So you just, you just don't care. Okay. Well, so there, there are people who care. That's why the discussion's being had. I disagree because it's just a video game. So I've heard that point, right? Like it's just a game who cares. And to, to my point, it's like, dude, we've spent our whole lives on this game. Clearly there's some level of um, importance to us. There's a there's a structure that's been built that people care about, right? Achievements. It's like, well, does does getting um, does clearing mythic matter? Does does getting rank one matter? Does does farming um, gold cap matter? It's like, well, well, of course it does because people care about these things because they spend time doing it. If it didn't matter at all, then no one would play the game. I hope it matters at least a little bit, right? Um, I disagree. These mounts will still be fairly rare. And having them on the BMH already broke the rare mystique. Uh, so we covered that point. Any mount on the BMH isn't impressive because there's a good chance. Yeah, so I, I think that's a fair point. That's That was Asmongold's point. Like you can already get it with real money via tokens on the black market auction house, right? Tokens are 20 bucks. You buy a bunch of tokens, you get a gold cap, you throw gold cap at it, you have the mount. And I agree. My point, my counterpoint to that is that that's a mistake. I, I don't believe tokens are good for the game. I've been very vocal about that. And my only counterpoint is since you messed up once, it doesn't mean you should mess up again because tokens are bad doesn't mean you should make another bad choice. So saying it's already broken, let's break it further. It's, it isn't very good logic. So that's my reply to that. All right, is there any other people that disagree? Let's see if there's a disagreement, something that I haven't thought of. Maybe a new way to think about this. Maybe um, a take that is novel. Disagree since it's not about uh, setting a precedent. This item has too many existing incidents. There's low fruit to increase new player attention compared to keeping mount collectors. Okay, I agree that the incidents suck, right? That was part of like Asmongold's point. They they bugged that with the track theory. Once again, my counterpoint is if you make a, if you make one mistake, it doesn't mean you should make another. Um, in terms of new player retention, what I think about that is what i said here if blizzard wants to introduce new new uh ways to farm new mounts that's awesome if you want to re uh retain new players put out awesome new mounts and cool new ways to get them that aren't percent based if the percent based drop system is antiquated then leave it in the past and move forward with something new i'm fine with that Having said that, I do think the reason people want to farm percent drop mounts is because they're rare, and since they're rare, less people have them, and since less people have them, more people desire them, and since more people desire them, they're more sought after, and that's why people want to farm rare mounts. So I actually disagree with the sentiment that, it, that this is a system that should be moved forward from, but just to play devil's advocate, if you do want to move for, forward from it for whatever reason, if it's antiquated, then sure, move forward from it. Why should me getting the mount via bronze have any effect on what someone did to farm the mount? It's not like the bronze is only available for a select few. Everyone will have a chance to obtain this mount if they want. Okay, I mean, so I, I think this kind of answers itself, but we can get into this. If if you have um, a mount that you get from Mythic, uh, Mythic Ahead of the Curve, or you get a title for becoming a gladiator, and then they change the requirement for, 
for how to obtain that thing. So to get gladiators, say they change it to, I don't know, winning 100 duels is now gladiator. Well, why should you care if everyone can now farm gladiator for winning 100 duels? It's available for everyone. So why does it affect you? Well, of course it affects it, it affects everybody. You have a hierarchy, you have a, si you have a system in place, and then you pull out the damn rug. Do I need to explain any further than that? Do I need to explain any further than that? I mean, that's, yeah, so there we go. I disagree because 38,000 bronze still takes a while to farm. Since it's a limited time event, the casuals or dads still won't have time to farm it. So it's not gonna be everywhere like people think. That's fair. I think that's a fair take. Like, hey, 38,000 bronze still is a big farm. It's not easy, but I still think it um, ruins the integrity of the relationship that players have with Blizzard. Like, you get a mount from doing this. Oh, wait, now you can get it by doing something else. I think that's bait and switch. It's like, it's it's disrespectful. It's, it's changing it nonetheless. Having said that, I agree. If it was 100 bronze, I think people would be way upset because then everyone spends 30 minutes farming and get it. So it's better that it's 38,000 than 100. Sure, I agree there. Um, but I still think the fundamental truth is still there that it's it still is changing something that's fundamental right it's still changing something that has been one way for a while and then changing that system that is already set in place so i think i think that's a that's a fair point though it's not it's not that easy to get so it's not that i guess your point is it's not that bad this is also luck versus guarantee are you not going to say that someone who got it on their first drop is less deserving of the mount than someone who farmed it for 10 years uh, well, what do you mean by that? I, I think if you want to change future mounts off of the percent based system to farm farming mounts, then that's fine. But I, what I find interesting is, is this. If you go to simple armory and you, you take a look at like mounts that people like to farm and you go to like burning crusade, what are the like, I'm just trying to prove a point here. What are the most exciting mounts when you see it from the Burning Crusade? Like rare mounts. Would you say, oh, the blue riding nether ray. Oh, the, the silver riding tall buck. No, it's ashes, right? It's ashes. Why is it ashes? Because it's a low percent drop chance mount. Why does it have prestige? Because less people have it. So if you want to move past the percent based system, you really want to think about that. Okay, well, you can buy these from a vendor, but none of these are as cool. Okay, let's move to Wrath. Oh, wow. Um, the, uh, I don't know, like I'm trying to think like, oh, the Swift Red Hawk Strider is really cool. Or the, the Bronze Drake is rad. No, what's cool? What's the best mount from Wrath, guys? What's the best mount from Wrath? Invincible. Of course it's invincible and, and, and Mim's head. Why are they cool? Because they have a low drop chance. Let's move to Kata. What's a cool mount from Kata? Oh, dude, the uh, the seahorse. You know, the... What's a cool mount from Kata? Southwind, Anixia, Experiment 12B, Anax. Scarcity equals value. This isn't hard. Thank you. So that my, my point is... The cool mounts are because they're scarce. And if you undermine that, they're not cool anymore. And you're spitting in the player base's face and they don't even know it. Some people are rejoicing this is a good idea. In fact, it's pulling the damn rug out and they don't even see it. So yeah, I think it's justified that people are upset. I kind of agree with Asmund Gold's take that maybe it's over and it's too late because you can already buy it with real money. But I also disagree with the sentiment that it's too late to turn the boat around. You can start making good decisions this point from this point forward and start making the game better instead of making the game worse. You can actively start making good decisions instead of bad ones. And that's where I stand. So we'll turn this whole thing into a video. It'll be on YouTube for you to, to chew with, wrestle with. Um, there it is, man. There it is. We, we, we talked about all the takes on the tweet. We talked about a bunch of takes in the chat. And uh, that's about that. Asmongold acts defeated and I get his point. 
Yeah. I, I get Asmund Gold's point too. It is frustrating. You can already buy you can already buy gold and it's kind of like, what's the point, man? It's over. Move on. But I feel like that's really a defeatist mindset. I would like to think. Maybe I'm not maybe I'm too optimistic, man. I would like to think that it's not over. You can start making the game better actively with decisions that are good. Like type type one in the chat if you actually agree with me, but you just don't care because you've either quit retail or you're 30 years old and you have a house and mortgage or family and kids and you just don't care. You just like, you agree, but you just don't care. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of where a lot of people are. It's like, I would have, like you would have cared 10 years ago when you were a, like more of a kid or a teenager. You just don't care. Yeah, so maybe Asmongold is right.